Hi everybody, my name is Adam. Today I've got a great tutorial for you using ACDC Photo Studio for Mac 8. So what I'm gonna teach you today is how to create batch developments, save those developments into presets, and then use those presets to run as a batch on a series of images. So this could be you running this on 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, however many images you want. This is a really powerful tool. This gives you the ability to save some properties that you like in one image and then run those properties on a series of images that might have similar lighting circumstances or that you just want to run that same effect on. Uh, it's non-destructive uh, in the sense that you can change these values in the future. It's a super cool tool and I'm really looking forward to getting into it. Okay, so what we're going to do first is in manage mode, we're going to select an image and bring it into develop mode. In this example, my image has a bit of a cyan colored appearance. So the color of the sky is very green. And what I want to do is adjust that to be more of a truer blue hue. Let's make a preset that we can apply to our other images. To start, let's open the color wheel. I'm going to target the cyan color in the sky, trees, and foreground water. So as I spin the color wheel, you can see that my image becomes grayscale and the color cyan appears as a highlight. That highlight indicates that part of my image is currently being selected and is going to be the target of a hue adjustment when I go to change my settings. Now that I have that, Let's adjust the hue. So what I'll do here is I'll take the hue slider setting and I'll pull it further to the right, which pulls the sign into the blue spectrum. I'm going to reduce the saturation slightly and what I'm also going to do is increase the contrast. Let's compare to the original using the button on the bottom left. So here we'll swap between the original and the effects afterwards. What I also might do is I might go to the light EQ adjustment here, and I'm actually gonna bring down the shadows and highlights. I'll do another comparison. Nice, so now that we've done that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to navigate to this little cog wheel at the very top right. And what we can do is we can save this preset. I'm gonna click the cog wheel and save preset, and what will pop up is a little modal window here. So this window gives me the opportunity to omit adjustments that I have. In general, I wanna leave all of these settings applied because it'll capture everything that I've done. But in the case that I've made maybe some geometry adjustments or I've made some brush adjustments that I don't want to include within the preset, then I can omit these. Now I'm going to name the preset. Let's call it Cyan Adjustment. I'll click OK. Now, if I navigate away from my image, back to manage mode, I will save this. And then what we can see is that my image will have a little development icon that will appear on the bottom right-hand corner of the thumbnail. This indicates that the image has been developed. Let's find a new image with the same cyan color properties. Let's take this image as an example. I will run this preset on this image now. Running this preset is a little bit different than applying the preset within the develop mode panel itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to batch and then I can go down to batch development and I will choose the preset that I've made. I'll set the preset to cyan adjustment, which is the one we've just created and I will run this batch. The image will be adjusted with the properties of the preset that we've just made. We'll have the same development settings applied to it. So now, if I open up this image in develop mode, you can see that the light EQ adjustment has been applied, which we can preview by clicking the little blue icon, and the color wheel adjustment has been applied as well, making the ocean more blue. The cool thing about batch adjustments is that they can be applied to more than one image at the same time. 
I'm going to change my view method to thumbnail view. So if I were to select these images right here, starting from the spices image down to the sunset here, what I can actually do is batch develop these images as a group. Uh, and this is gonna save me potential hours of adjustment time. So I'll go to the batch workflow, choose the preset sign adjustment, and run the batch the same way I did previously. And as you can see, when it's complete, there will be a little development icon that will pop up indicating that those developments have been applied to the image. Now, this adjustment might not have any effect on these images because they might not have any cyan elements to change, but this does give you an example of how the batch development function works. Keep in mind that this is completely non-destructive and these settings can be reverted on all of these images. Now this might be beneficial for those of you that work with wedding photography and want to make a series of adjustments to your wedding images in one fell swoop. As an example, if I wanted to adjust the lighting in all my images and my client requested copies in grayscale, this would be useful for applying a single adjustment that you've made on one image to every single image. And then what you can do from there is tweak any minor elements that need to be adjusted by hand within the individual images. Please like this video, subscribe and click the bell icon. And most importantly, please comment with suggestions of what you'd like me to cover next. Take care. Thank you.